Alright, today we're doing collisions. Uh, check it out. So, um, what's cool about this this code that I'm going to show you is that you can slide along walls with it. So, like here, I'm hitting up and to the left, and I'm sliding along that wall. It's pretty cool. It's like pixel perfect collision. Uh, you're not going to get stuck anywhere. And it works using a for loop. Alright, so let's get started with some theory. So pretty much this, this is how it's going to work. Uh, here's your little guy, right? Let's draw the, um, the grid. So this is the X axis and then uh, this will be the Y. Y axis. Alright, so the way this, this um, collision code is going to work is that it's going to look uh, within a certain space for a wall or, or something to collide with. So let's just say, for example, our little character has a, a horizontal speed of uh, 3 pixels per second, right? So what the code is going to do is that it's going to count 1, 2, 3 pixels over and it's going to check for uh, something there and if there's nothing there then we move to that position however if there's something in the way for example let's just say there's like a wall here or something right the code's going to check three pixels to the right and if it returns a collision which here in this case it does it's going to go and check the spot next to that one so one pixel less Right, so that would be uh, the second pixel to so the right, and then if there's a collision there, then it'll go and check the next pixel over, which would be number one. And if there's nothing there, then we move just one pixel over to the right, and that'll put us right up against the uh, right up against the wall or whatever you're colliding with. Pixel perfect, you won't get stuck. So um, we're going to be using a for loop first things first. Let's go into our movement code and we're going to replace the X's and the Y's with a new variable uh, HSPD which is horizontal speed and VSPD which is vertical speed up and down. Um, if uh, you're coming into this video fresh there's two other videos before this um, you might want to check those out so you, so you can get um, caught up so let's replace our X's with horizontal speed and then our Y's with vertical speed. Now we're going to need to do this for our collision code. Okay, so let's grab another piece of code still in the movement of our player character. Drag it in. And um, since I am using the unregistered version of Bandicam, I only have, I'm limited to 10 minutes, so I'm just going to cut and paste. And then. Uh, explain quickly what this does okay so here's our for loop um, so what a for loop does in case you've never heard of it, it 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 runs a code that's you know within these little brackets here and then it loops back again and runs it over again and it keeps doing that until a certain condition is met so um, what we're gonna do is we are going to take our horizontal speed which was you know in our example we said it was three and what we're gonna do is that we're going to separate the sign from the value so what I mean by that is that because okay so when you move to the right you move positive pixels and when you move to the left you move negative pixels so what we want to do is we want to separate the sign from the value. Now, um, the reason we do this is because then we can go and um, check both to the left and the right of us just using one line of code as opposed to doing like uh, this line and then doing another one but just replacing the plus with the minus there. Instead of doing all that, you can just separate the sign from the value and then um, check both positions to the left and to the right. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to start by saying I 
um, equals the absolute value of HB. So the absolute value. So what that means is that let's see, absolute value of let's just say positive three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the value, the three, and we're gonna ignore the plus, or if you're moving to the left, we're gonna ignore the minus, and we're just gonna take the value. And we're gonna store that in our i variable. So i would just be the value, three. We don't care about the uh, sign for now. And then the next line of code, um, move check, or next variable, move check, will equal the sign. So right here is where we we separate the sign and, and then we multiply. So we kind of separate the, the value and the sign and then we multiply them together. So here we're taking just just the sign of H B. And what that means, it's kind of like the opposite of absolute value. So if absolute value of positive three, negative three was three, the sign of positive three will give you um, just the sign and it'll ignore the value so it'll return a positive or if you're moving again if you're moving to the left it'll return a negative and it'll ignore the three so what move check does is that it takes move check takes the no, hold on So move check takes the sign, positive or negative, whichever direction you're moving, and it multiplies it by the value i times i. That way, move check could be either positive 3 or negative 3, depending which direction you're going. And now since move check can be either positive or negative, we don't have to write this twice, we just write it once. So what we're doing here is we're saying if not place meeting x plus move check, move us there and then break out of the loop. Here's our break. So what it's doing there, it's saying check three pixels to the right. If there's nothing there, move there. However, if there is something there, this is this is what's going to happen. This is why it's called the loop. It's going to go back to the beginning and this time what it's going to do, as long as i is greater than zero, it's going to subtract one. So every time it loops back again, it subtracts one from i. And remember we said originally when we start, i was three. So if there's something at the third pixel, then we loop back and we subtract one from three, which will give us two. So now we go back and we check two pixels to the right to see if there's an object there to collide with. And if there isn't, we move two pixels. And if there is, we go back again over to the beginning. We subtract another one. So we subtract another one from two. We end up with one. So now we're checking one pixel to the right. And if there's nothing there, then we move one pixel. You see, this way you never get stuck in a wall because you're always checking every single pixel, every single point until you're like right up against the, uh, the wall or whatever you're colliding with. And then once uh, that condition has been met, once you've moved, then you break out of this loop and then you continue with the rest of the code. And this part right here is exactly the same as the top part. The only difference here, and don't forget, you, you're replacing HSPD with VSPD. So you're replacing this one, one, this one, two, and and then a move check, you're moving it over to the Y instead of the X. So we're up here, it's at X plus move check. We're down here, we're just leaving X by itself, and then we're doing Y plus move check. So don't forget to do that. And then here too, Y plus equals move check. And that's it. I mean, you do that, and you, you're gonna have pixel perfect collisions. Watch, check it out, check it out. So that's all there is to it. Anyone can do this. All right.
check it out. So there you go, you see? And that is it. Uh, like Chef Gusto says, anyone can cook, anyone can code. Very simple. So try it out and uh, let me know in the comments below if it worked out for you. If you had any issues, uh, maybe I can help you work through them. And uh, enjoy. Goodbye.